Cavs greatest swimmers of all time, Ryan Murphy in six. Look at that underwater, folks. Look at that. Good evening, Golden Bears. My name is Camille Rodil Willis with Cal TV Sports, and today I am here at the Speaker Aquatic Center to interview Ryan Murphy of the Golden Bears. So, Ryan, you've had an excellent year so far. You've earned Pac-12 Swimmer of the Year award and a gold medal at the FINA World Championships. How is the overall transition going from college-level training to World Championship-level training? Yeah, I mean, uh, the guys on our team. A lot of us have international aspirations, so it makes it a lot easier to make that transition from international season to collegiate season when, when we have a bunch of guys that are motivated to do big things on the international level. So Ryan, today you swam a 47.2 and then 100 fly, and your best is 46.8. What did you do differently, and what was your game plan today? Uh, I think I think I'm just a lot stronger than I was when I went my best time. Um, you know I. I think our, our weight coach, Joel Smith, has been doing a lot of great things with us, and I think that's really translating into the water well for me. Awesome, and my last question is, how did you initially start swimming, and what are your plans for the future? So when I was um, half a year old, we moved from Chicago to Florida, and because the weather in Chicago is so bad, my parents, my parents love the weather in Florida, so we were always down at the community pool. Uh, so I just started out in summer league because that's what my brother and sister were doing and then just gradually evolved into year-round swimming and then when I was in seventh grade I ended up giving up other sports and just completely honed in on swimming and here I am today. Wow, that's so awesome. Well, thank you so much for being with us here today. Thank you so much for watching. This is Cal TV Sports. Hi, my name is Caitlin Hernandez here with Cal TV Sports and Selena Lee. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me with you. So a couple weeks ago, you actually won Queen of the Pool, correct, at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo? Yes, that's correct. Well, congratulations. That's a great way to start the season. Some would say that you and your teammates are well on your way to success. We were wondering, what does success look like to you in the pool? Um, success to me would be executing the goals that I set every single day in practice and just showing up, being a good teammate, and doing the best that I can on each day. I completely agree. That's great. Um, we were actually wondering also, how does it feel when you're behind the blocks, getting ready for a big race, and you hear that buzzer go off? So many emotions. I'm excited, I'm anxious, I'm nervous, giddy, grateful, um, just a lot of emotions. And it's pretty cool just to be representing not just yourself, but your school, your coaches, your teammates, so something bigger than yourself. That was such a great answer. I love that you threw in the grateful thing to be here. And I'm grateful to interview as well. Um, so I have to ask, so typically swimming and height go hand in hand. However, you're only 5'2", and you're killing it out there, which congratulations with that. Um, has your height ever been an obstacle or a setback in your career? Um, I think people have doubted my swimming abilities because of my height, but I never saw it as a disadvantage. Um, I just try to focus on the things that I can control and what my strengths are. Well, that was great. Great answer, honestly. Good luck to you. Thank you so much for watching. This is Cal TV Sports. Go Bears!